this episode of American Greed. The promise of green energy gone bad. Welcome to Nikola in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's get you guys... The founder of Nikola Motors, Trevor Milton, is front and center with flashy promotions that put him in the crosshairs of prosecutors. And when he unveils his all-electric truck... Oh, that thing is so awesome. Milton says it will change the world. His message was, we are the future. We're targeting the second largest polluting industry in the world, the trucking industry. American Greed goes inside what prosecutors allege is a crime that happens in plain sight. Tesla's just really just following in our footsteps. Trevor Milton targets young, naive investors who are looking for the next clean energy guru. Your stock price is moving really fast. I mean, the idea is that, you know, I don't really, I don't even, that's why I didn't even know the number. I don't even really watch the stock price that much. He looked like the next Elon Musk at an earlier stage where I could jump in at an early stage. But does Milton have the goods? You're gonna see that this is a real truck. This is not a pusher. You're gonna see the real Badger. It's, it's real. American Greed pulls back the curtain on clean energy technology that the Fed say is full of hot air. Milton brazenly and repeatedly made false and misleading claims about the status of Nikola's technology. We're under $4 right now a kilogram for hydrogen. Uh, an order yesterday was over $30 million for, to produce over 40,000 kilograms of hydrogen. I mean, I hear hydrogen and I think of, of course, the old Hindenburg, and I get a little bit scared. It's a prophetic statement, because later, a lawyer representing whistleblowers, together with a financial research company named after the Hindenburg disaster, will take aim at Milton's high-flying, hydrogen-powered dream. Southwest of Salt Lake City, this lost highway becomes the perfect place to stage a key scene in an alleged multi billion dollar fraud with no witnesses, at least no human witnesses. Trevor Milton creates a film, according to prosecutors, that helps put him on the map as the next Elon Musk, a billionaire pioneer in electric vehicles and renewable energy. And you're basically the next Elon Musk. Do you like that? Um, I am, uh, I, I like to, uh, do, I like to think about the fact that I'm Trevor. <laughs> From the deserts of Utah, an epic about a man, a dream, and people all too willing to believe a mirage. The star of the drama, Trevor Milton, grows up in Kanab, Utah, a little village in a box canyon. Kanab is a super unique place, a Western classic, and a lot of films uh, made here, a lot of movies. Its red rocks are the perfect backdrop for stars from John Wayne to Ronald Reagan to Clint Eastwood. Though Trevor Milton will one day make his name too, there's little to indicate future success, according to Tim Clarkson, who grows up next door to Milton. I specifically remember times where, you know, he was kind of down, like people teasing him or picking on him a little bit. In a Friday night light kind of town, Milton is a quiet, nerdy tinkerer working on computers, according to Clarkson. Going out for the wrestling team doesn't help. Definitely, that was not a strong suit. In wrestling, obviously, you can win, lose, get pinned. And I remember he got pinned a lot. Eventually, the Miltons leave Kanab, and Tim Clarkson doesn't think much about Trevor again until years later when he learns Milton is a billionaire. And I thought, wow, that's, it was fascinating because I thought, who would have known? <laughs> 
After just one semester of college, Trevor Milton drops out and moves to St. George, Utah. A building boom is in full swing, and the 19-year-old sees opportunities selling home alarm systems. Milton found St. George Security and Alarms and Hustles. The quiet kid from Kanab is now a high-energy entrepreneur. He was very charismatic. He was definitely a salesperson. After a couple of years of building the company, Milton is ready to sell it and pursue bigger dreams. Tammy and Glenn Pills agree to buy the company for just under $800,000 with $300,000 down. And we're not crazy rich people, so this was pretty much everything. The parties agree on a sale price based in part on the alarm company's accounts receivable, money owed from customers. But as soon as they're handed the keys, Glenn and Tammy say they have trouble collecting. That's because Milton has told some customers to make their checks payable to him, not the company. So what his bookkeeper has marked as account receivable have already been paid uh, to Trevor Milton. And Glenn and Tammy have bought a pile of worthless IOUs. And as you start seeing more and more of these, you're thinking, these aren't mistakes. Trevor kind of became unavailable. He was very hard to get a hold of. Milton declined American Greed's request for comment. Not long after the discovery, the housing bubble bursts, ushering in the Great Recession. Customers cancel their home security systems to save money. It definitely hit home some months. It was like, how can we afford to pay this and make our payroll this month? Or how can we pay ourselves? Ultimately, they have no choice but to declare bankruptcy and walk away from the business. Crazy stressful, obviously, so we didn't have the money to make the house payment, so we ended up moving out of that house. I mean, the home that we purchased in St. George, because we bought this business, we bought our dream home. This was the house I wanted my grandkids to come to. Um, and we had to let it all go. Trevor Milton, however, is moving on. He starts a company called U-Pillar. U-Pillar.com presents It Just Doesn't Make Sense. It's an online marketplace for secondhand stuff. Milton has bold ambitions. He buys expensive ad time on the nationally syndicated Glenn Beck Show. Milton, seen here on the right, touts the connection with Beck on U-Pillar's Flickr page. And when Doritos launches a competition to create a Super Bowl ad, Milton is all in. He himself appears in the bit. That's him on the left getting attacked by Sasquatch because he doesn't have Doritos. You want, you want some turkey, big fella? Despite his aspirations, a former web designer for U Pillar says it has many technical failures and never makes money. And that's when Milton makes a big pivot. Tyler Satterfield runs a company called Epic Motorsports in St. George. And one of his most enthusiastic customers is Trevor Milton. He rides dune buggies and dirt bikes and hires Satterfield to modify them to go faster. Hey, you know, this just doesn't quite have enough power. You know, what can we do? You know, hey, let's, let's do uh, intake, let's do a pipe, let's throw nitrous at it. Knowing Satterfield is handy with a wrench, Milton taps him to do research and development on his latest idea, a company he calls D-Hybrid, which aims to convert trucks to run on both diesel and natural gas, which is less expensive. You can bring your fuel costs in half and that was the idea, was to save people money on their fuel. Another former employee tells American Greed that D-Hybrid was a, quote, show. Satterfield is more nuanced. He says the young man with a need for speed makes promises to customers that his production team cannot deliver. 
Stacy Keach here, feeling greedy for more videos like this one? Then be sure to like and subscribe right here on CNBC Prime.